Well, 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 good afternoon, West Ham fans. It's Russ back in his little bunker with the Hammers headlines in association with the KUMB.com boys. Plenty to talk about. Despite being international break, there are still lots of stories going around circulating to do West Ham. So let's get into the first one, shall we? And it... Oh, where have I gone? Oh, hello? Where have I gone? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you, thought you, were, you thought you were lucky and got rid of me for a minute. Um... I want to talk about now for Gerd, um, who is obviously still a West Ham player, um, contracted by West Ham, but currently on loan at La Liga side Real Sociedad. He was um, part of the side which secured a very famous 1-0 home victory against um, Barcelona at the weekend, uh, keeping a clean sheet as well as obviously uh, being involved in the game. And there, there was a, we spoke about, I think it's last week around him potentially not uh, almost pricing himself out of a move to Rio Sociedad in terms of his current wage demands. Um, always the issue when you come to the, come from the Premier League, you're going to be on higher wage than the majority of La Liga sides or League R sides or Bundesliga sides. And that does seem to be the case. However, according to my famous and my favourite social uh, Spanish media outlet, Fregeses, <laughs> Yes, uh, Real Madrid might come calling for now forget. Yes, you did hear that. Real Madrid could uh, launch an offensive to some of 28 year old Moroccan centre half who is currently on loan. He's subject of interest to scary the market for a centre half at the moment. Um, and you know, um, Minato he's picked up a season on knee injury, and thus they see now forget. It's got slight Julian Faubert vibes about it, isn't it? Really. But he's playing really well, really well at the moment for uh, for Rio Sociedad. And he's one of the main sort of um, main defenders in La Liga, to be honest. Um, and his progress in for Rio Sociedad has not gone unnoticed. And another spell for La Liga could be on the cards for him. The report by Vegides has claimed that he... Um, has emerged as a target. We've lost Blancos mulling over a view of securing his services in the January transfer window. Um, now, what would what would be interesting? Obviously, because he's currently on a season-long loan with Rio Sociedad, so it wouldn't mean a case of breaking that agreement. I'm sure there'll be some buyback, some money back owed to Rio Sociedad, um, and then. Whether a per- I, I would assume it would only be a permanent, it would have to be a permanent deal, really. Um, I, there's there's little value in us sending in because by the time you've paid the money back to Rio Sociedad and got money in for another loan deal, can you do that? I don't even know if you can do that nowadays because um, you'd have already paid for two clubs having played for West Ham at the beginning of the season um, before the August deadline day. Um, but still, you know, it's just just shows a different environment. You know, a break is as good as a change, and very much the, the case with Nao. Obviously, we do every week on the Mondays we do the loan watches, and, and he is pretty much every week ninety minutes started, kept a clean sheet, or was heavily involved in the game. And so it does seem to be more of a different style of football. Um, obviously less maybe physically intensive in terms of the Premier League and it's paying dividends for him so good luck to the lad because that will definitely mean money in the coffers for us to spend and could that spending go back to Brazil um, again for Jesus two in a row he they um have reported the same West Ham are reported looking at 24 year old South American winger Gonzalo Plata. Gonzalo Plata from Flamengo. Um, according to reports, the subject of interest from the Hammers, who've been scouring the market apparently for a versatile attacker ahead of the next transfer window. Um, and the 24 hours emerged as a target for the East End outfit. He's hit the ground running since signing. To Flamingo from Al Sad um, in just August, so he's only been there a short amount of time, and uh, he's 
had European experience with sporting, Real uh, Valadois, as well as spending a year at Sat as Sad, which I believe is in the Saudi Pro League, I'd imagine. Uh, he returns to South America in the summer and is not a back, really. Um, he's managed two goals and one assist in 13 appearances across all competitions so far for Flamengo. Um, and his impact hasn't gone unnoticed, um, particularly from a West Ham perspective. We have scout, we do have a scouting mission out there. We have scouts we're looking at. Uh, we have affiliations with clubs. And obviously, the Ecuadorian attacker has come to the attention of West Ham's network so to speak um he has attracted interest from english clubs before um and as i said it, it makes sense i mean is particularly now with a question mark over whether we'd like to see caduce in a west ham shirt next season um you know arsenal apparently ready to go for him as a replacement for trossard um i, I still think liverpool links will still be there or thereabouts you know he's release clause will I imagine coming to effect in the summer so you know someone like Plata he can play on both flanks um although mainly more on the left hand side um which is obviously a, a role that Somerville is currently um, occupying but that doesn't give the I mean you know there's opportunity there's 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 two in every position as well Similarly as well, you know, it could mean that Somerville could play more centrally because he was playing a lot of that game. If you went back and looked at my sort of review of the show, review of the game, yesterday's lunchtime show, we went into quite a lot of detail and you saw, you know, there was big chunks of his sort of heat map were more centrally as well. And you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, Bowen, we've got Luis Guilherme and, you know, it seems that we're definitely looking at areas to improve and maybe maybe Gonzalo Plata could be a name on someone the back of someone's shirts in the in January when obviously the Brazilian season finishes which is probably more likely than the summer in all honesty and Finalamon according to according to court offsides it's got to be true uh, Juno Pategui wants West Ham to sign Tariq Lapati um as the defender is looking to leave brighton by all accounts the 24 year old is unhappy with the current situation at the seagulls under the new manager um his contract expires at the end of the season so again mo for west ham looking at players who are coming to the end of their contracts to get bargains he hasn't shown any sign of extending it in terms of the club um and um he's established himself as Probably one of the most exciting fullbacks, maybe in the Premier League, since so moving from Chelsea. Um, he's been a key player for Brighton, always a thorn in our side when he seems to come on. Um, and apparently, apparently, Lopetegui is a fan and wants West Ham to sign him. Now, it's we've obviously got Aaron Wambasaka in that position. I would suggest potentially that Lapity might be more of a right winger back than a right back. Whereas very much um, Aaron Wambasaka is a right back by trade. Um, it, you know, you're thinking in the summer, the likelihood is Sue Fow will move on. Um, he'll be out of contract. So having uh, someone who can compete for that right back jersey also gives you the option of playing Aaron, Wamb Aaron Wambasaka left back as well because he has done that. So again, the same way to Plata, I could see why, you know, we want you know just and that's the whole idea of having a squad rather than just a starting 11 and as and again if we can get one free transfer we know there would be no transfer fee involved or there might, might be a small one if we can get him in january uh, ahead of the game of everyone else but um i don't think that's the worst free sign but then you think could ben johnson have done that role you know could we have just kept ben johnson and saved on the signing on fee and probably and increased um salary as well quite possibly quite possibly but hey ho we're only fans what do we know and that's it my friends thank you very very much for your time apologies for the broom cupboard audio but hopefully um it's uh it, it's enough for you guys to get your fix of west ham news we're back tomorrow um i think holly's doing it tomorrow possibly um with some 
the latest news. Obviously, we've got international breaks as well and players out. Obviously, Bone being called up to the international uh, fold of England yesterday due to a number eight injuries. Um, injuries. Um, myself and Holly also did our um, members exclusive podcast um, that was out yesterday as well. And we've got some really good interviews lined up hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So please don't be uh, a stranger. Hit the like, make a comment. Even if it's a, even if it's a crossed Amazon emoji, that all helps the engagement. Anyway, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith, my friends. Come on your irons. Much love. Bye-bye.